gets dark in the air Visions are flashing into my head as I reminisce My I have these dreams that you and me were meant to be You and my wife, you were more than just a friend of me You ride for me and I ride for you And I would've did anything in my power to stop who intervened But then I wake and I back where I shouldn't be This whole time, look what I let the devil do I can't I feel like I'm losing all my energy I throw in some drink and let it burn like some Hennessy Make no mistakes them bitches I was texting still I had no intentions on going in that damn direction I have some imperfections but all guys do. <clears throat> hey 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 Hubies how do you do oh it's time for another episode of re how have you guys been doing and I'm doing this one post uh Super Bowl you know I mean for a lot of reasons wasn't that interested in the um, Super Bowl this year. I mean, I don't do ball sports like that. If you've been listening to this podcast, maybe you know I'm a uh, fighting sports guy. You know, but um, I barely watched it. Why? Statistically, statistically, I believe any team that's down at the half uh, generally doesn't win the Super Bowl. And uh, when I walked, when, you know, when I when I when I came in on a game. It was like um, 21 to 9 at the half, you know, looking like a full dub. And um, it just continued to be a dub throughout the game. Now, we was, we was going for Mahomes on this on this side and uh, it didn't work. OK, but whatever, you know, and I see a lot of people talking about uh, a catch. You know, it was a it was a, a, a catch. Need a touchdown, they ruled it out of bounds. All right, I get it, but guy, you would have needed another one. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it just, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have meant the game. You know, it was, it was a smack. Uh, unless I'm remembering incorrectly, which, which I don't believe I am. You know, so congratulations to Super Bowl winner. I'm not gonna say who that is, but um, wasn't a, wasn't a good game for the blacks. Um. And on on top of that, you know, I've been I've been thinking about playing the algorithm, you know, quote unquote, you know, the algorithm. If you know anything about that, you know that um your 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 you know your video platforms run an algorithm, which that word is nowadays overused probably. That that helps them to figure out what videos to deliver to you uh you know as a suggestion and it also helps um uh advertising if you if you put advertising in your video it's going to help uh well it's going to to dictate what what advertisements they send to the video if any and a lot a lot of the initial you know, a lot of the the, the, the initial portion of the, the algorithm, understanding the algorithm has to do with cursing. Now, you know, we got, you know, we're cursing on this podcast <laughs> and it and it has something to do with cursing in the beginning of your content. OK, now some people say the first five minutes and OK. All right. Can you not curse for the first five minutes of your content? OK, fine. Some people say for the first 10 minutes. Now, Hubies, now, Hubies. We can't do that one. All right. Why? Because we do Highland High first. And that makes me curse. If if you haven't been paying attention. OK, so I mean, I thought about running running that running that algorithm and see if I could just not curse in the first five minutes of the um of the podcast but I feel like it's just gonna have me trying too hard and uh that's not what this podcast is about it's not about trying too hard right even though I'm probably basically doing it right now but but I'm but I'm trying hard not to, you know, F bomb this uh 
this whole understanding of the of the algorithm rhythm in the first place. So whatever, all right. Um, not gonna do it. Uh, so what? So what do we got up first? Of course, like we like I just mentioned, uh, we got Highland High, and I watched this one beforehand because I just got stuff to say about this type of thing. Now he's doing trendy thing. He's doing TikTok thing with the guy with the stimulus check. Now, I also got to ask him, how did he get this TikTok video to be over a minute? Uh, I'm asking about that. But um, now this is a this is like if you haven't been on the Internet, you know, during stimulus check time, there's a there's a there's an older dude who who happened to be someone look like somebody pops. You happen to be you happen to know how to sing very well. And he was singing about how he needed his stimulus check and people just had been dubbing it and um and putting videos behind it and and of course your guy i speak 1906 um did his thing here and video podcast you're gonna see it audio podcast we're just gonna try to describe it for you now i can see he's in uniform already and that makes me angry okay so what he's doing is he's in uniform and he's saying into the walkie talkie you know the word to the song which is i need my stimulus check and there's, you know, some flourishes in there, but you're just going to have to look at it on the on the video podcast to fully understand what's happening there. Uh, but without further ado, you know, introduce this into your life. See, the original guy. Very, very good singer. Okay, okay. Oof. I don't know if that was the whole thing. But whatever. Um. Now, this is him, okay? And he's in uniform doing this. Now, he's got some kind of military job. Uh. And, and real talk, there's certain jobs you can have and you can have this type of fun, you know, quote unquote fun. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're in some kind of sales gig or something like that, you know, or or, or, or uh, even, a, even a private company, just a private company where they have private values. You know what I'm saying? I could accept this from uh, or just some nondescript general administrative activities. I can accept this from. But if you're in. U.S. military uniform. Quite frankly, I just I don't want to see this from you. Like I wanna I wanna understand that you somewhere securing some shit for me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a serious job. <laughs> if unless I'm unless I'm bugging, that's it's like I understand it to be a serious job. Like what's the light work version? You know of of work having a U.S. military uniform on. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a fucking corporate stooge for a living, and I've never done anything like this at work. You know what I'm saying? Why? Cause I work. I work private sector. You know, they catch you doing something like this, they'll fucking fire you. <laughs> and that, and that's the end of that. You know, and that, and this is how I be telling. Like and this is how I gauge sometimes like whose whose career is serious and whose isn't like how how is how do these places allow you to do stuff like this like yo I was um I've been I've worked at places where they barely want to see a YouTube page up on your browser you know like it's just old people doing old stuff and they can't understand that you can be watching or listening to a YouTube channel and and also working like that's just not you know, it, does, it doesn't work in their brain, <clears throat> you know, because they're serious about working. You know what I mean? And I, I just, I guess I just, the, the jobs I work, I guess is too serious. Is that a, is that a thing? You know, well, I'm not vouching for the work environments saying that they were the most <laughs> exciting or anything of that nature. But, I, but I'm saying that if you got work and you got serious work, then you're not doing that. You know, at work, especially if you're supposed to be securing some shit, you feel me? Now, is that 
stigmatizing um, military jobs? Probably. Probably. Uh, do we care enough? No, we don't. We do not. Mr. Mr. Bam And of course, y'all hear that coming up right there. I don't know what this is, but it's um, it's Ben again doing his A, B, A and B conversations thing. Now I don't know when this thing started, but we just reversing through it. Uh, and that was hot, hot and high, guys. <clears throat> we just reversing through it, and um, I feel like. The last two that we did was like the same fucking episode. It's like they do the same episode every single time, you know. Uh, and we're gonna find out now. Like I'm gonna try to skip to the middle of it, whatever, because it's like half. It's half an hour of this, whatever this is. And if you know, you know it's Ben and Mario Lopez. It's not really Mario Lopez, but it is Mario Lopez. You know what I'm saying? Like the guy just got that that Showtime glow to him. All right, just like. Mario Lopez. If you don't know who that is, that's AC Slater from uh, Say by the Bell. R.I.P. Screech. Uh, oof. Dustin Diamond, I should say. Now, a little, it's a little, it's a little tough to just even speak on that because his most prominent role in life was Screech, and I think the guy is—he was in his forties. I think forty-four. You know, and he passed away due to complications of cancer, I believe. And um, R.I.P. to the man. And it's kind of messed up that he just never, he was never able to really break away from the understanding of Screech. You know, with his, with his career and with his time on this earth. Um wow and it's just you know some people did they lot in life man it's just such a story you know what i mean he was just he was just lucky enough well not gonna say lucky privileged enough to have gotten that prominent role on a, a show that was a big show saved by the bell it was a big show and now you know to pass away from cancer you just question what his uh lot in life really was but all right pizza the man um hi right, so mario lopez ac slater and we're gonna and we're gonna get right into this um ben bakayoko uh because i um uh i don't even know what i'm talking about it's been backwards uh let's skip a little bit to the middle to see if we get to the proverbial meat and potatoes of this video Right. Yeah. And that's where D uh, can sometimes go wrong because you're not afraid of risk. You're not afraid of make, making a mistake. Like you feel as though you may feel as though you can take control in situations where you're not, it's not your strong suit. Uh, I like one of the things that I've heard. Psychoanalyzing like some people. D can have a tendency to share their opinion as though it's fact. It's, a, it's determined versus domineering. Right. They're, so they're so confident about it too. <laughs> yeah. They're so confident in what they know and what they believe. They're just like, and, and in themselves, like what they say just comes across as fact until you question them. And sometimes they don't appreciate being questioned. So one of the things that I want to do for you right now, mm. is actually make this more he hit some switches. I actually know some people audience, right? who, who, so, who go in like this. Uh, I could think about the experience that I've had with a D and this, this woman literally. Ew. My life. Experience he had with a D, huh? Um, that I met. That you are over, over your one D limit. That actually took the time to. You got a um, wife, guy. Mold me, encourage me believe in me and just stretch me and to believe that I could succeed in the way that I wanted to succeed. Now right? you're, she was a high D. You lost. Uh, I know she had a decent ooh, amount of eye in her, stop but she saying that. had a high D in her and she was the ooh, term. Like, I got a high D in got her. Pregnant. Oh, now um, she got pregnant. The first time, it's just like, yep. Dude, just being in an environment with this woman oh. makes you determine. Oh, I, he's, I remember, oh, he's firing like, his wife up right it was, now. It was a sales <laughs> position. Like, oh, oh okay. She not. never missed the day. Literally, 8 a.m., to 7 p.m. Sales she's in the position. office or on appointments just rocking out. And I remember trying to do what she uh, did. Yeah, nah. It was just like, boy, I needed a nap. I needed a lunch break. I just needed something. And every day I just see her crushing it, bro. Nah, I'm just not like, crushing it. That's how can you that's do this? Misery. How that's do how... you not take breaks? How do you wake up at the same time every single day, go to the same Her house is calls, suffering at home. That's why. Um, people say no. 
people don't show up when they say they're supposed to show up. You're leading hundreds of people, and yet no matter what happens, you keep pushing. It's bad at I home. I can't get it. And then you got pregnant. Yeah. And when you got pregnant, you're just like, yo. And then it got worse at home. Me. This is actually going to make me work harder. Right. Yeah, people because now about, like, well, once you get, get the baby, pregnant, you got to stay relax, home for a while. Or <laughs> they can't go to the gym. She's in the gym like eight months pregnant, bro. Oh, man. She's, she's in our op meetings jumping. Speaking of. I'm like, yo, how about the baby? She's like, the baby going to be cool. So I'm just like, she was just wired in a way where it's just like, uh, no we're going to re return to that. What I want, there's nothing that's going to stop me. All right. Um, finish with that. And um, now you got to know something. Right. Man, that's, that's something amazing. I'm just thinking about oh, it. Oh, wow. It's like they just popped tried, that right back up on me. Oh, uh, yeah. Forget that. So you got to know something that the things that people are doing outside of their home, a lot of times it's about the home. Okay. Because this, this, this is your place. All right. Home. Where... You know, this your foundation. You understand? Like you gotta you you wake up there, um, generally, you go somewhere else, but you have to return. You have to return there. You know what I'm saying? There's days you don't return to work, generally speaking, but there isn't supposed to be, you know, in a normal understanding of a life, uh, days you don't return home, you know, unless of course you're going somewhere. But that I mean that's that's a moot point. So it's all about the home. You know what I'm saying? If your house is comfortable, if your house is a place where you want to be at, okay, you're going to make sure you get back there. You feel me? As soon as I put a foot in work, I want to go home. <laughs> you know why? My house is fun. My house is fun. Look, I got kicks here. You know what I'm saying? As you see, it's my 13s here, Black on Black 13s video podcast. You can take a gander at that. You know, I got some hats on the table. I like these hats. Got my kicks behind me. You know what I'm saying? When I do my podcast, I'm doing a podcast. You know what I'm saying? I got a I got a bean bag. You know what I'm saying? That I lay on when I when I when I'm watching TV. I got two TVs. You feel what I'm saying? And so when I'm at work, I'm suffering. I'm suffering. Okay, get my two TVs back. You know, like I'm I'm over here trying to you know hurting because my house is fun made and, and my house is not fun just because it's just fun i made it that way <laughs> i made it that way that's what you do you, you get, when you get a place to live okay you essentially it's it's like it's like animal um you know animals that build nests and stuff yo you go find a place that you like you know in a location that you like and then you just fill it up with stuff that's comfortable and stuff that you like. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes animals just do that. They just bring stuff into the little hovel or little nest or whatever like that. Why? They like this shit. You feel me? Bring it there. Bring it there. And you just fill your house up with stuff that you like. You know what I'm saying? And you have a good house. Now, uh, this woman sounds like maybe she had a man at home, you know, and they live together. And their living dynamic probably was not that lit. Probably was not that lit because they would be running home to each other. You know, if it was the case, I got to get home to my wife. You know what I'm saying? If I had a wife and she was bad, you know what I'm saying? And she wasn't stressing me or nothing like that. Boy, I, I bet as soon as I as soon as soon I walk in and work, whatever, I'd be like, damn. I, I, I would rather be at my comfortable um, home with my hot wing wife. You know what I'm saying? Type of shit to pray how you quit your job. You know what I mean? Don't even want to go to work no more. Just want to stay at home with your wife. You know, if you didn't have to pay for it, then you probably wouldn't go to work. You know, so she, it, you know, on top of that, she's pregnant and still busting it down. Now, we could, we could take this as a point of determination, of course. There's always that side of the coin, but that's not the coin we're talking about here. We're talking about this lady, son. If I had a pregnant woman, now, now, just like he said, you're supposed to be taking it easy, okay? Taking it easy, for one. And as the guy, I'm supposed to be helping her take it easy. You feel me? You got to be just, you know what I'm saying? Give her a massage, rubbing her feet and shit, and ask her if she's okay, ask her if she wants things, you know? And and um, to some, to some of y'all guys is probably hearing this like, uh, dub, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm coming off like a simp and like, no, it's just... Through the time of the pregnancy, you know what I'm saying? Nine months, 
out of a year not you know what i'm saying like your, your woman uh shouldn't be i ain't gonna say shouldn't be but generally speaking you just don't make your woman pregnant every year you know what i'm saying like you're gonna be married for your life this is gonna be like 50 something years probably at least and um and um you 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 gotta you play that card for the time that she's pregnant you know what i'm saying I don't think that's unreasonable. Like a thing is happening with her and you adjust. And as a man, you got you you maybe you want to feel a certain duty to that. Now I understand that shit could get tiring and maybe you might skate your ass off to work, you know, because of that. But it's not because you hate the woman or not like that. It's just like, you know, it's a, an adjustment you had to make. Now uh every time I see people work hard like that and they got um family and they seem like they're doing well you know what i'm saying like they didn't quote unquote need the money you know it's bad at home it's bad at home i used to see guys in the corporate who used to work like that man these are older guys and shit so as soon as i see them working like that i'm like let me see your wife let me see your wife it's gotta be some kind of problem you know what i'm saying and and sure enough nine out of ten when you see the wife, ill, full ill, okay? And that's why they don't want to be at home. Why? She's at home, okay? Eating sandwiches and probably farting and stuff. You feel me? Whenever I see a guy and his wife got a stomach as big as his, I'm like, yo, she's at home farting. You feel me? And unless they're at home just being two big old farts, he's at work you feel me he's just gonna be at work because sometimes it happens like that you know what i'm saying you choose you choose the woman and and time goes by and she turns into something else you know the guy too you know let don't let's not do the semantics i'm a guy and i like women so i'm saying women um you feel me so she doing it you do you doing your thing and then the woman turns into something else and i guarantee you i'm gonna be that dude i, I ain't i ain't the dude to just dip on a chick you know what i'm saying if she switch up if I chose her, you know, you kind of got to You got to know the risk before you take the job. Uh, but what 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 I do? I would stay. I would stay my ass at work. That's what I would do. That's your out. You feel me? Oh, honey, baby, sweetie, I'm uh, I'm beat down with the work now, man. You know, you know, I got that promotion way back when, and you know, it's it's wicked now. Okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm dodging the thoughts. You know what I'm saying. But that's that's what it is. It's, it's the wife's bad now, bad bad in a bad way. Bad meaning bad, not bad meaning good. So the only time that that wasn't true is for one dude, and his wife was actually a hot wing. His wife was a hot wing. Uh, but I used to wonder though, like, why are you always here and why are you always bothering me? Like when, when you at work bothering me and you got a hot wing wife. Look, you're a gay guy. Are you a gay guy? If you're not a gay guy. You got a problem, you know, and in and in in um, some, you know, little investigative work uh, revealed that it's him that's the problem. He's, you know, he was a D-bag and his family don't really like him like that, you know, because he's a jerk. You know, so he have to be at home in order to not be with and around them because he's a jerk. You know, wife don't like him. You know, and that's it. That's hilarious to me. <laughs> imagine being the one in the house that everybody don't like uh uh no no not me i'm gonna be the cool one in my crib and I, you know i was listening to conan o'brien matter of fact and he was talking about you know he works a lot because he's in show business now um i could get that you know you gotta you gotta you gotta go in while you hot and 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 if you, your person is the commodity yourself, you know, then you got to move. You got to bust moves. You got to go places and do things and be a fucking celebrity. You know what I'm saying? He's saying, you know, and, and he was talking to some other people who were saying the same thing, you know, like during the COVID, whatever, everybody stay at home. And when you're doing that, uh, the people at home kind of treat you like you fucking up the flow. You know what I'm saying? Like they always used to jump up and be in the bathroom at a certain time, whatever, because you ain't there. And, and and then they pull up and you in there and they can't do their thing you know what i'm saying like you 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 crashing all the routines and 
I'm sure you just want to pop out like, motherfucker, what the fuck you mean? I'm I'm in the way. Do you know why you got a house? You know what I'm saying? Why you got a roof over your head? Do you know why? It's me, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'll body slam every fucking body in here. Feel me? Fuck up all your routines. Fuck your routine. It's me now. You know what I'm saying? But, but I imagine you can't, you ain't gonna quite do that. You know what I'm saying? But it's, but it's, but it probably feels a little bit fucked up. Not that they're trying to do that to him, but you know, that's just the reality of it. You know what I'm saying? They just used to getting on with their life without you. Uh, you know, but that ain't diversion where everybody hates you. You know what I'm saying? You just, you, you just, you know, you, 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 you settled into a pocket. You know, and what, and what can you do, right? Such is life. You can't have it all in this life. So they say. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure some people have it all. Or we just can't see what it is they're missing. Know that. Ah, enough enough about me and, and, and lifestyle choices, right? Let's get into something nice on the news. And by nice, I mean not that nice. Uh, let's read the headline for you. Utah school offered parents a chance to opt children out of Black History Month instruction. Then the NAACP called. All right. All right. Let's read a little excerpt from, from this um from, from this article. Maria Montessori Academy Director Micah Hirokawa. Psh, not, gonna, not even gonna speak on that. Posted Friday to the North. Ogden, Utah Schools Facebook page that he has sent out a letter that allowed families to exercise their civil rights not to participate in Black History Month at the school, the standard examiner in Ogden first reported. How disrespectful. The letter included an opt-out form for parents to fill out after a few families asked not to participate, Hirokawa wrote. The school's Facebook page appears to have since been taken down. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Because how disrespectful is that? You're talking about Black History Month. You're talking about the civil rights movement. And you're telling people you're going to express their civil rights by, by not learning about it. You kidding me. You kidding me? Is that not relevant American history? You know, black people in the civil rights movement and the slave trade. This is probably the, the most relevant elements of American history outside of wars. You know, it's the slave trade and the the civil rights movement. And and imagine as a black person, you got the uh, the right to opt out of anything white history. Whoa, bro. You could opt out of nine tenths of the of 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 your history classes. Could you not? I'll tell you what. He should have kept that opt out form in there. And then they should have included the opt-out form for white history for all the, for all the black students. Boom, A+. Plus. You, look, you, you know what I'm saying? You only got to go to the Black History Month joints. For the rest of the year, <laughs> you could opt out. Opt out. Everything white history, opt out. Okay? And you know what? Do your Black History Month project, and then you're good to go from there, baby. A+. Plus. You feel me? And don't learn, learn about nobody else. You should have flipped it on them. You feel me? But the NAACP got involved. I'm sure they, they that opt out form is a done deal. Can't do it anymore. And you just gotta you just gotta learn about the black people. Like imagine some people saying that though. I have I have a problem learning about black people. I have a problem with that. Wow, wow. How how insane is that? What 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 sort of deep rooted issue is that? You know, I would rather have my child to learn about everything but black people. Yes. You know what I mean. Check this guy last name, Hirokawa. All right. Okay. I'm not even going to go into that. Okay. <laughs> Kidding me? I take that A plus though. You know, they opt- I'm opting out of everything white. How about that? Imagine that. You're right. <laughs> Won't let you do it. Won't let you do it, but but give but give we'll, we'll, sure, we'll surely give that option for everything black, which is super bugged, super bugged. Boy, all right. Um, let's see if we could get into anything anything cool in the pod, in the podcast world. You know, we could do pod pod about pods part one zillion. Uh, and we could go with my guys at intelligently speaking now. 
they haven't done a podcast in a month why this guy's trash oh i should just i should be jabbing him about that on they um on their twitter page and i might i might just do that uh so it was a month ago they, they did and i think they're doing something about coronavirus you know what I'm saying? it says we haven't seen anything like this since 1918 with the influenza before any of us were born okay us uh businesses are closing people are losing jobs left and right yada 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 okay so let's hear what they have to say on intelligently speaking about coronavirus now it's gonna be um the fly guy you know what i'm saying he's the he's the icebreaker it's gonna be bismarcky you know dude who talked like somebody punched him in the mouth you know what i mean he goes he goes now until until um part of that that's my damn speaker he goes until the fly guy uh have to jump in and then you got quiet boy who'll be in the background uh not saying too much you know, he just inter- interjects with Snapple facts every now and again. And that's the formula for their podcast. And then you throw in a little bit of awkward silence and boom, you got it. Intelligently speaking. So let's see how much of that we can get out of these episodes. Go for y'all drive. You don't have to stop at a red light. You can go through that mug. <laughs> it's on you. But you, gonna, you may hurt someone else in your stupid act. <laughs> That's all you know. I was about to say, it seemed What's like it's going gonna, on, it's gonna pull back. This is the intelligently speaking podcast. You feel me? They they started it off like a like a BET movie. You had the noble, the fly guy. You're probably wondering how we got here. You know? I wonder if this is a, a damn anchor uh beat too. Long time no see, baby. Long time. Y'all, man, what, where's the energy? Yeah, exactly. I'm feeling it right now. Where's the energy? Snooze factory. It's 6.30 at night. <laughs> it's 6:30 at night. <laughs> That's nah, not even time. It's, that, it, it's facts. That is true, man. That's like, not now, even I time. That's... Some applesauce watching, like, Matt Rock. Like, there you go. <laughs> go Biz Marquee. <laughs> Yo, get out of here, man. Seeing his piece. <laughs> nah, was a... They that, see nah, Quiet, see quiet Boys in, in the like background. It's from uh, Turkey. Thanksgiving. Hopefully, y'all had a good, happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully oh, that's when this was. No, it was dope, man. It says it's a month ago. No, it oh, it's so from twelve twenty-five. Are you talking? Like it, it wasn't. You talking Thanksgiving? Like it, it, was, it was cool. Well, it was I guess cool. that's what happens when it's a month between podcasts. You know, because because you on top of Christmas and you talking. Do a quiet boy. Like what the like what the fuck are you talking about? Just the immediate family. Whatever. Just the, immediate family. Whatever the fuck you talk about. It was, kinda, uh, it was just different this year. You know, you, usually you have the big family. Like, and, like, what we usually do, we have the, the immediate family, we have it on Thanksgiving, and then a couple of days later on the weekend, all the, the extended family, everybody gets together. Now my grandmother's. Uh, so, weird. All right. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, Good job real putting real us to sleep with that explanation. That got ill, we do. That's short. Yeah. I wanted to hop on uh, Zoom and FaceTime. I was like, yo, it's not the same. Like, I'm not answering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not that dude either. Nah, I ain't getting on Zoom for everything. Zoom drunk because my, uh, my, my brother's living down in Florida. My brother lived down in Florida, so we did a Zoom with him and his family. And we did that in, like, after we ate. But, yeah, it just felt, I don't know. It felt yeah, a little that's just a, but, that's just a call. Hopefully, you know, with the... Uh, it's not Zoom Thanksgiving, I'm not going to that topic, though. I was going to say, hopefully the vaccination, people take that, the va- vaccines coming out. You know what I mean? Though you got some of these uh. things. And hopefully 2021, we get the popping. In the fall. The yeah, let's let's take the vaccine. No, negative. Bro, I mean, what? Not, the, uh, not, the, not the first wave now, nah, but I'm good. I, 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 mean, I second that. Oh, we wanna, I want to hop to something else. I want to have this, wanna have this conversation for real. <clears throat> because I want to ask some questions like, why? Like, why not? Bro, like, legit, why not? Have you, have What's you, the reason why we should? Why you should? No, no. Okay. This, uh, All right, stutters. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, I'm trying to listen to this. I'm trying to, hit you, like, you'll you be on your way to something why interesting why and then, and then my just, why you should would just answer that answer. Studying. No, I, I, answer I, I that answer. Know what do you? I should, but I didn't know why I'm not doing it. 
why not? You feel like there's going to be something in there? All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, done answering that. All right. They just dragged it too bad, all right? It, it almost got interesting. You just dragged it with, with all kind of ums and, and stutters and junk. Uh, let me tell you something I let me tell you something I uh, learned from, and this is from listening to also Conan O'Brien. This is the Conan O'Brien episode. Um, now he's a he's a he's a comedian. Yes, he guys he guys his chops. You know what I'm saying? Mostly a comedic writer, sketch comedy. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he ever did stand up. Uh, maybe I have to Google that. You feel me? Because we feel like stand up in a comedy game is a rite of passage. But if you understand where you're going. Maybe your route does not include stand up. Okay, he'll be a good example of that. Um, because he's an improv comedian. He's an improv comedian. And um he'll be talking about yes and. That's the improv comedy basis. You know what I'm saying? When somebody and you can use it conversationally, you know, if you want to keep a conversation going. You when somebody, you know, engages you. With any element of information, you go positive and you go and. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and. Even a no is a positive. You know what I'm saying? If there's an and, you know, if you if you're con- contributing. Now, when 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 they asked uh, these guys if something's gonna be in a vaccine, he just says, "Yeah." That's not a fucking answer. If you're if you're in a podcast trying to entertain, you know what I'm saying? You have to do your yes and. You have to say. Yes, there's something in there. It's probably, you know, whatever. You feel like it is. And and that's how you be interested, not just saying, yeah, and and then expecting the other guy to say a thing. There's nothing to say to that. Yes and no is dead end responses uh, unless there's a very particular emotional connection to the to the um to the subject matter that that would prompt a follow-up question, you know? Yes. Oh, well, if since it's yes, and even that person is doing a yes and. You know what I'm saying? Improv like a fucking champion. Okay, learn how to talk. So, I agree with that. Now, uh, yeah, I'll talk to me about whether or not you're taking the vaccine. Because I believe, I'm a, I'm a man of science, and I do believe in vaccines. But I also believe in clinical trials uh, for everything. You know, I, I really indulge in what we can understand to be new elements of medical science. Be- why? Because um, what, I, what I do, you know, on the opposite end of that is just try to take particularly, you know, good care of myself, try to be well. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have to indulge in these newer elements of of, um, scientific discovery. Yes, let somebody else, you know, be the guinea pigs. You know what I mean? And I'm I'm fairly aware of where we've uh, come to in in the understanding of the advancement of, of the human race. But I don't know that we're in a place where we can just, you know, take make a vaccine off the cuff. You know what I'm saying? A new thing just happens and then a couple of couple of weeks, couple of months later, we just got the vaccine moving. Um a, 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 a lot for me to digest there. So yes, I would say uh let some other people do it. Now, am I speaking from a point of privilege? Yes, I am, because I am not the um control group. Well, I might be the control group. I'm not the vulnerable group here. You know what I'm saying? Like I take my coronavirus test and it's no virus no antibodies uh so whatever something about me is doing a very good job keeping the virus away from me now do i now think i need to introduce a foreign substance into my body to aid that that's what you start to lose me you know um i feel like i got more chance of this foreign substance creating some dramatic effect in my body than I, than I do with the virus at this point, you know, and I don't know enough. Uh, so, I mean, talk to me, you know what I'm saying? Again, I'm not anti-vaccine. I just believe in a full scientific process. You know what I mean? And, and that's, and that's just, that's just real talk because even vac- vaccinations we've been taking for decades we 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 start to see over prolonged use 
you know, uh, some of the side effects of that. You know what I mean? Uh, and just medicines in general. Like I was, I was, I was listening to a medicine commercial. You know how they do with the damn medicine commercials, man. Where uh, they, 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 they making a happy ass commercial, which they always are because it's taking medicine. It just have to be it's a happy experience. Um, and it's to the point where I don't even know what the medicine is for. <laughs> I don't even know what the medicine is for. It's you just looking at a happy ass medicine commercial. And I forgot what medicine it was, but it was going hard on constipation. You know, and as soon as I heard that, I'm like, constipation? You know, and it said it in more than one way. It was like, you know, side effects may include constipation, yap, 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 yap. And then it was saying, like, if you are having any adverse symptoms associated with whatever the hell medicine, such as constipation, and they just drill in that constipation because that was happening during those clinical trials. You know, that was happening. So whatever's wrong with you, which, again, I couldn't pin what the what the medicine was doing. They spend more time telling you about constipation than they do telling you what the medicine's actually going to do for you. <laughs> you know, because it's probably like an antidepressant or something like that. Now, personally, I'd rather be depressed than shitting, you know, than happy and constipated. If you, if, because as soon as you make me constipated, you know what I'm going to be? I'm going to be goddamn depressed. <laughs> I'm a shitting boy. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, before this podcast even started, boy, I was farting. You know, and I was farting to the point because I'm a farting guy. All right. Why? My body works. My body works. And uh, so I be farting. And it got me to the point where, you know, I, I was about to sit down and do this podcast. I'm farting and shit. And I wasn't farting, you know, because I was about to do the podcast. I just had some farts I had to happen. I had to blast off on you real quick. And I was like, yo, I'm surprised I haven't farted on this podcast yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, my body does a thing when it's showtime. I just say, all right, behave. Okay? I've got a musical body. I'm burping and farting. I'm doing all this stuff. And I be shitting. So, if you tell me that I'm going to be constipated, I gotta, I really got to know what the medicine's doing. You know, because I'm, I'm trading it for shitting. Which sounds insane. Insane. Because then what do you do? You have to take the medicine and then the medicine, as soon as the medicine starts working, you have to take a laxative <laughs> to balance to balance it out. You know what I'm saying? That's probably what they have those chocolate laxatives for. It's insane that um they have to make a laxative that tastes good. Because some people just probably have to use that so often. That they need it in like the most acceptable form, which is like sweets, you know. And I take gummies, vitamin gummies, you know. But and and I guess that's true for that because it has to show up in the most acceptable form. Why you gotta take it every day, all of the days? Now, if you tell me laxative is in candy form, not even just candy form, chocolate. That's like the candy, right? You know what I'm saying? Crave out candy. That's the candy. Um, then there's people out here. Who's just not shitting. They just they just need to take a laxative every day. You know what I'm saying? And when you take a laxative, it's not like it just jump starts the shitting. Full splatter bladder. I've I've taken laxative before. Uh granted, if you grew up, you know what I'm saying, in a black family that does a, a laxative thing, you know, like my mom's used to always talk about cleaning out the body. And um now that I think of it, it was probably the nuclear option. I need that. You know what? It's citroma. You know what citroma is? Citru citrus of magnesia. Like it, it tastes like soda. Um, it's like Sprite. You know what I'm saying? It's a lemon, lemon lime soda, but it's a laxative. You know what I'm saying? Have you spray fought? And um, but what they used to do, and I realized I've never even read the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> because black doctor all right mom dukes black doctor um she's not really a doctor so so what she used to do is give us a bottle of it and you just drink the whole, whole bottle you know and that's probably nuclear 
I guess it's just to make sure that it worked and it worked quickly. And you just had to set a day aside. You out of commission for at least a day. Um, just shitting. You know what I'm saying? Because everything you eat, you're just going to blow. You're going to blow. You know what I'm saying? And um, I've done that before. I might do it soon, you know, because um, it's COVID. You feel me? I ain't really got no way to go. Super Bowl just happened. Maybe I'll do it next weekend. I, I remember, I think I tried to do it. I couldn't find no Citroma. Um... Uh, yeah, we drink the whole bottle and just blow down. Now, it's probably that I'm going to get it now, and I'm going to read the bottle, and it's going to say, like, drink, like, one cup. <laughs> Eight ounces is going to say to drink, you know what I'm saying? It probably comes in a bottle that's double that, you know, or like 20-ounce bottle or something like that, 60, 20-ounce bottle. And uh, it's probably going to be like, you know, drink the, um, drink one cup of it. You know, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drink the whole thing <laughs> and blow down. All right, blow down. You feel me? Uh, and that's what I usually do: just drink the whole thing and take a nap. You feel me? This should have start work working on you. You'll get about your sleep when it's time to, you know, make it happen. Spray fall. You feel me? In the, in the times of um, cell phones and such, it's not it's not gonna be that bad. Have some of your best times on the toilet. You know what I mean? Fuck around with the phone. <laughs> Play a little games or something. Blow down. You feel me? If I do that shit, it's just, it's just, it's just, a, that's me time. All right? I'm going to be brushing my teeth. going to be washing my face. And I'm, and I'm going to be shitting. Okay? Me time day. Just don't talk to nobody. And just have a me time day. Uh... You know, where I do stuff like that. Because that's what I do sometimes. They have me time day and I just, I'm just i just brushing my teeth and stuff. Shout out to people who brush their teeth. You know, because this has been bothering me lately. It's 2021. There's still people out here not brushing their teeth. Okay? You're kidding me. We we know, you know what I'm saying, what, we're, what we should be doing in life. You know, how to maintain the body and our social life. And we know that part of it is brushing teeth. Okay? I can't trust nobody. Who's not brushing their teeth? What, like because you're not handling your business if you're not brushing your teeth. That's something you're supposed to be doing every day, all of the days. If you, if you're gonna if you're gonna tell me that you're doing it, as a matter of fact, and your teeth is jacked, that means you doing something every day for your whole life, and you're getting no better at it. You are bad at brushing your teeth? Come on, you can work a whole computer. Little babies working a whole iPad, and people and people who not brushing their teeth having babies who's also not brushing their teeth. All right, and that's insane to me. Brush your teeth. We know what color teeth are. We know what color eyes are in 2021. Brush your teeth. Okay? I don't get it. What 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 about it is just making you skip it? Brush your teeth. You feel me? Like I can't I cannot <laughs> I cannot list for you the downsides <laughs> to brushing your teeth. You know, I'm going to get a new toothbrush, as a matter of fact. And that's the kind of shit I'm getting excited about. I'm going to get the new toothbrush. I got an automatic toothbrush, but it just vibrates. I'm going to get the one that's like a car wash for your teeth. It spins, you know what I'm saying? And it vibrates. It rotates. I'm going to be fucking buffing my teeth. You feel me? That's where I'm at in life. I just want to brush my teeth better. And you got people out here just fully not doing it. You insane? You should know a chick, you know what I'm saying? Yo, she was a hot wing. She was a nice little something. You know, but her grill was just so jacked. And it's not like something happened to or with her, you know? it. She just had, she was young, you know, in her teens. And had what they call calculus. This is like that buildup on the bottom of your teeth. And it's like, yo, that's shit that like 50-year-olds have. You know, from prolonged periods of not brushing your teeth. How you have that in your teens? That means from a baby, you just wasn't brushing your teeth. You got up every day and said you're not going to do it. You know, and when, and when I see stuff like that, you know, especially in a lady, and I'm not saying that, you know, expressly about ladies. I'm Again, I'm a guy who likes ladies, so that's where my brain is at. You see, I see that in a lady, I'm like, yo, what else aren't you doing you know 
You wiping your butt? Are you wiping your butt? If your ability to brush your teeth is shaky, I'm thinking your ability to wipe your butt. You know, in the same range. You know how to wipe your butt? I, I know people who don't who don't brush their teeth. They there's no way that they're giving their butt a second wipe. Okay, because sometimes again I blow down, blow down. You feel me? And I gotta wipe my butt two times. And that's just that's just a fact. You feel me? Because sometimes again you let off. And you gotta wipe your butt two times. It's not about the motion, the act of wiping your butt. That's to get the poo out of your butt. If you wipe it one time and you feel like you didn't get the poo out of your butt, you feel like it's poo still in your butt, wipe it again. Now, anybody who's too lazy to brush their teeth every day, they're not doing a second wipe. You got poop in your butt every day, I'm sure. I'm positive, you know what I'm saying? A lot of it. It's no way. You know what I'm saying? She was a nice looking woman. Had a body on her too. I'm talking about if she if you looked at her and and and, and she didn't open her mouth, yo, you'll be on it. You'll be with it. You'll be with the shits. You feel me? Stress me out thinking about this. <laughs> Cause imagine that. Some some dude's gonna get with her for sure. For sure. Some dude's gonna be with her. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Dudes have endured worse, you know, in the understanding of choosing a woman. Some dude's gonna get with her for sure. And, um, like, what is he gonna do? He's probably also just not brushing his teeth. Uh, but if he is and he chooses to be with her, like, what are you doing with the kids? You know what I'm saying? And what are you doing about kissing that woman on the mouth? I don't know. This is why I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. You know, this this reminds me also of like um, sometimes I think about you know being with women of different races or ethnicities or whatever, and it's like, yo, what are you eating? <laughs> what do you eat? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot about being together is what you guys' mouths are doing with each other's mouths. It's mouths in places is what it is, and um, and what are you eating? You know what I'm saying? Some countries they just eating they eating parts of animals that we just don't fuck with, and they eating it. And it's like okay, and now you expect me to also use that mouth. You have to share mouths. You know if you if you're gonna be with somebody, you have to share mouths. And um, so a lot of what I understand about you, uh, or how well the relationship is going, is gonna be dictated by what you, by what you're doing with your mouth. Uh. And I guess that just circles back around to, to brush your teeth. Okay, you can't be eating the butts of animals all day, all day. And then, and then you want to come give me a kiss on the mouth. Like, come on. Come on. What are you doing with your mouth? What are you doing with this mouth? You know what I'm saying? Think about it. That's simply. I mean, because being being in a relationship is actually really gross. That's what we do. We look forward to to gross stuff. You know, you want to be hugging and kissing and naked and stuff, and it's all gross. It's all fucking gross. You know what I'm saying? So, because you know, you pull up with your shorty, whatever. Guys, we we spend a lot of time fucking around with their butts. You know what I'm saying? This is what and what is the butt for? You know, just pooping out her butt. And, and and that's the part of the body that we just like we just hanging out hanging out with the butts, you know. And then be having the nerve, you know. And this is me and this is this is why I have a podcast, all right? Because we in the trust tree and your friendliness at the goddamn zoo. I'm telling you that it's just mouths in places and butts and then I'm stressing you out about brushing your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? How about that? I'm not telling you don't be around butts, but I am telling you brush your teeth. But I guess you could spin it another way. You know, if you're going to be around butts, which you will, which I, you know, I wish that for you, uh, at least brush your teeth. <laughs> Wash your hands, brush your teeth. That's all, I, that's all I require from you, you know? Let's be respectful about it. 
You know what I'm saying? Because we get together with the <clears throat> with the homeboys, with the wives and the girlfriends and all of that. And everybody in the room has just been gross with their um their other person. It's just them being gross together. You feel me? Especially you got kids. Come on, you're being gross and regular. You're being gross and regular. And I'm wishing that on you. You know what I'm saying? And and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk in your house and I'm gonna beef with you about a fucking dirty countertop. When I know 24-7, you just you just operating around your woman's butt. Oh well. You know, this is this this is what it is to be a human being. Okay, like what are you worried about? What are you actually worried about? If somebody asked you that, you know, like what is your fear or your understanding of imminent danger? What is it? What are you actually worried about? You know, go just dig deep. It's just it's just it just get weird with it and it's gonna and it's gonna come out something honest, whatever you, the honest version of that is it's gonna be so weird. You know what I'm saying? Like I was just talking to you about the butts and stuff, like if you really tried to express or explain that to somebody, they would think you was a bug out. You was weird. You know what I'm saying? But it's just true for everybody. You know, like if you could pull up in people's house, you know they fucking on everything. But you don't want to see the butt residue on all of it. You know what I'm saying? You fine with the fact that they fucking on everything. You 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 know what I'm saying? You eating off their plates or you sit on their couches. But if you see it, you know, then you're bothered by it. Like it's not already happening. They got kids. They got kids. You know, what are you going to do? What are you going to say? Fully gross. And you know what's crazy? A, a biology teacher told me that, you know, because, you know, we're in high school. Uh, it was high school biology. We was in high school. And um, he's learning the human body and whatnot, whatever. And um, she was she was cool and she was smart. And that's, that's so lit. You know what I'm saying? And, and she was she was smooth. And um you know, somebody tried to hit her with a whammy about some sex or whatever. And she didn't even she didn't budge on that shit. You know what I'm saying? She was ready for the shit. She was like, uh, if you knew everything that happened with your body during sex, you would understand how gross it is. Now, was she particularly sexy with the shits? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a point somebody unsexy would make. You know, however true it is, however true it is, you know, unsexy really drives that point. You know, not to say that she was really driving it, but this, that's something to definitely say to uh, teenagers. You know, you don't want to be encouraging. But, uh, yeah, you also don't want to uh, create a taboo. So she did actually a very good job answering that. But, that's a very unsexy answer, you know, about sex, you know, how gross it is. You feel me? Because drugs also gross. And, um, it's not about, it's not about it. It's not about that, though. You know, it's about everything that comes with it. You feel me? If I knew everything that happened during sex and how gross it was. You think that'll fucking stop me? No, never has, never will. Because that's, that's, that's again, that's, that's being human. You know what I'm saying? I drink alcohol. I drink alcohol. You know, hard to cut at that. Not, the, not no light shit. I mean, not the wine and Prosecco guy. Not him. Hard liquor. Now, I understand it has just, a, it just has no nutritional benefit to the body. Body, which has no general generally speaking no real benefits at all uh to consuming alcohol I do it okay why I'm insane just like the rest of the the, the fucking population in fucking sane uh, and that's and that's what it is to be human that's what our that's what the vices are you know sex drugs alcohol just no point it definitely point to sex you know but you understand what I'm saying? And, and you're just going to do it. You're just going to goddamn do it. Well, good. You, you know? It takes all, it takes all kinds. You feel me? Even the drug that sexed out kind. You know, just, just, just finesse it. Just do it in style. That's all. 
That's all I'm saying. Get a little style about you. Feel me? You can fucking, fucking drink and dope your life away. Shout out to that. Uh, so yeah, audio podcast on Mondays, video podcast on Wednesdays. The pod is growing now. The pod is growing like my, um, uh, what do you call it? Like download base is, 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 is like doubled since I started. It's been a year and some, and it's doubled. And I and I even subtracted one um episode, and it's just doubled. So there's a bunch of people out there listening to this podcast. I have no idea who they are. They don't talk to me or nothing, and I'm okay with it. It's the fucking shadow army, you know, of Ricky B listeners. See, this is that podcast that people are listening to. And they're probably a little bit embarrassed that they're listening to it and they're just laughing at work. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You know, and, and those people are the exact reason why I always end my podcast saying, fuck y'all.